So hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ryan and today we're going to be doing a review on a piece of tech. But first of all, I'd like to give a special thank you to Splend for supplying me with the mobile video studio that is called my car. It's the 2019 model Toyota Corolla hatchback. Uh, and I will provide a link to their website down below. They're a leasing company. Um, yeah, so let's get straight to it. I told you I'm going to be doing a review today on a piece of technology that I bought um, that I bought and unboxed the other day. I was too uh, too excited to actually do the review in the same video. And that served a double purpose because it actually meant that I got to use the watch. I just gave it away. <laughs> it means I got to use it for a few days. Um, it's the Galaxy Watch 3. Now, as you can see, Galaxy Samsung have got done away with the uh, the Galaxy Gear brand and just started calling it the Galaxy Watch. I'm guessing this is to compete with um, with Apple and their wearable tech brand as well, which they just call theirs the Apple Watch. But we're not talking about the Apple Watch; we're talking about the Galaxy Watch specifically the Galaxy Watch 3. Now, first thing you'll notice upon taking it out of the box is that this is actually a fairly substantial timepiece. It looks nice. It feels nice. It's got that very uh, satisfying click to the bezel or bezel, however you pronounce that, um, which is the device that allows you to switch through the watch faces on a regular watch it just allows you to rotate the outside of the outside of the dial um, so without further ado we will switch on the galaxy watch 3 i have it the right way around yep i do um let's do it and i'll walk you through absolutely everything that this watch does as you can see there the first thing you start up with is uh the the title screen samsung galaxy watch it takes a few seconds to, up to load now. This isn't going to connect to my phone because I'm using the phone's Bluetooth. I'm not using the phone's Bluetooth. I don't want it to connect to the phone just yet. So while it's starting up, I'll show you what it looks like on the back of the watch. As you can see there, you've got a little... Well, you've got that strange looking thing. Now that is actually a sensor that's what measures your heart rate and your stress levels yes this watch can measure your stress levels the Samsung Galaxy app has been well the phones have been able to do that for a while now this one can actually do it continuously you'll see it probably start blinking pretty soon if I put my hand over it no okay normally that light flashes green when it's measuring heart rate now um, the watch has started up that is what the face looks like so like I said, you got this... Oh, if I can get rid of that glare. Come on, you focus properly. You're not focusing on me. You're focusing on the watch. The bezel goes through the different screens and what you do. Now, you've also got the home button. The home button here, uh, whatever app you're on, it'll take you back to the watch face or it'll take you into the apps where you can use the bezel to to navigate through them and you can make a phone call you can you've got your contacts email um, whatever else now with this particular watch it has a 4g connection so come on phone focus again that's better this particular watch has a 4g connection which is quite interesting because it actually allows the watch to connect to the phone without using Bluetooth. <clears throat> so you can leave your phone at home if you don't feel like carrying it around. If you don't want that, uh, hang on a second. Okay, if you don't want that, um, the distractions of having Facebook notifications and that sort of thing coming in, okay. Or if you just simply don't want to be carrying your phone, if you feel like you're going to be going into, into a rough area or if you're going out for a run or something like that and you don't want your phone in your pocket constantly banging around while you're jogging, 
and I actually I did this the other night left the phone in the car went out for my run and I was still able to receive calls and text messages not that I do that sort of thing while I'm running I'm not that kind of person but the watch can do that I did notice that it still had a, a connection and just as a test on the opposite side of the running track to my car I um, I sent out a text message so what it does is it goes it uses your data connection um, to go to your phone's messaging app and then from the messaging app it sends it to the person technology right it's pretty freaking cool there we go it's flashing it oh, it was flashing it's all green light there just hang on a second wait till it wait for it to register that it can feel my heartbeat again bam 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 okay you saw it you saw it <laughs> now that's constantly going while you're on uh while you got your watch on your arm and that will be continually feeding to sam to the samsung health app and there you can see you got you know you got your goals um you got a couple of, of health orientated apps here it's pretty good it is pretty good uh, you can play music through the watch as well like uh, let me find the music app but unfortunately you can't use you can't use um, Google Play music you've got a you can only use the tracks that are on the watch okay if you want to use Google Play music it will accommodate for that but the watch itself won't play the music that'll entirely be the phone so you know don't think you're going to be sitting outside while your poor wife's sitting in the kitchen and you got your phone on charge in there and you're like yeah i'll just listen to some music out here bang turn it on and your phone's going to start playing music and scare the crap out of the poor woman so don't do that to her okay but um if there's a track on the watch like this one for instance it'll play it through the watch speaker just very quietly that being said however the watch's speaker itself is um, it's actually decently loud considering the fact that the speaker is uh, the speaker's hidden away in there if you can't see that yet uh, well you can see the little grate for the speaker there it keeps trying to focus on my face don't focus on me phone I want you to focus on the watch we well, can see the little pinholes for the speaker right there okay given how small that is that's actually quite a decent speaker for phone calls anyway like I can hear people um, on, on the phone while I'm standing on site and there's machinery next to me it, it is relatively loud but uh, don't be using it on the train <laughs> that also being said it can be paired with with um, Bluetooth headphones uh, so that you can answer the call on your watch and have it have the person speaking in your ears technology again right but it gets even better than that you can use this watch to check your emails you can use it it has GPS okay um, where are the emails okay the email app on here is pretty rudimentary to say the least I mean what do you expect for such a tiny little screen but oh geez it's gone away now my phone mirrors everything for some reason so okay what have we got there we got connecting to phone remotely if this takes too long try again okay so evidently the the watch hasn't realized yet that the phone is online can you can you actually do something there we go see there we go there are my you know my emails there it's pretty it's pretty crap to read them on such a small screen though so I wouldn't recommend uh, using it just for that however something else about this watch is that actually this whole video is about this watch so I don't know why I just said that it's waterproof 
you can go swimming with this watch okay uh, and for that you have a little you have what's called water lock mode if you go into the settings so you got just like just like your Samsung phones you've got a little you've got a slide down menu from the top if it decides it wants to work with me there it is and then on that side you got settings you just press that um, and go down to I think it's advanced yep bezel wake up and then water lock mode I have water lock mode turned off so what that does is it um, it disables the screen and disables anything weird from happening you know how when you're walking and texting and it's and it begins raining uh, the the screen sort of registers the the raindrops as finger hits right so you can't really and it starts typing weird things the swatch will completely disable itself but then after you've been swimming you're gonna find that your speaker is full of water so what you have is that the water eject feature hit that and it comes up come on I want you to work water eject and it comes up with this little screen you go play sound and it plays you this nice little melody that clears the water out of your speaker. Now that goes for about 30 seconds. So those are some of the basic features of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, all in 